guys, I'm back again with a new video. <laughs> this this is the look that we're doing today. It's not a tutorial. I did not go into this thinking that I was gonna teach you guys anything. I was just trying out like Instagram trends and like the Insta Glam makeup, like the whole like Kylie Jenner inspired thing. Fleeky brows, a well contoured face, very strong highlight, um, big lashes, cat eyes, and like overdrawn like movie lips. I think. I think I did okay, oh my gosh. Yeah, I was, so, I was so nervous. I didn't know how it was gonna turn out. I thought you guys were just gonna laugh at me, but I think I think it's pretty okay. So if you wanna see how I got this look and you wanna see my commentary on how I, I like got there, then please keep on watching. Was that weird? Was that a weird, like, oh hey! God, so weird. I'm just using my usual, the professional by benefit. I just put it on the center of my face. I think I'm just gonna go in with foundation first. I don't know if I should be contouring first, but I think it might mask the whole look. I this is not a tutorial. Can I did I say that? Do I have to say it again? Okay, I've got foundation here. Gonna dab this. Ooh! I forgot to tell you guys what I'm using. I'm using Revlon's Color Stay in 310 Warm Golden. Uh, it's the one for oily or combination skin. That's good enough for today. I'm going to be using um, a Coastal Scents brush in in this. Yeah, it's just kind of like a pointed... It's very dense. I think it's a foundation brush. <laughs> I don't know how this will turn out. I feel like I'm almost like playing a trick on myself. <laughs> you know, it might just turn out to just be a really good look, right? And then I'm gonna be sad because in Singapore's weather, obviously you can't wear that out all the time. Maybe I should just like do it for videos. Oh, but I can't, can't commit lah. Ooh, should I try baking too? Oh, cool. I've never baked before. I, I, I guess I could try. Why not, right? I wonder why I don't use this foundation more often. It's actually really nice. And it happens to be my exact skin tone. Maybe a little bit too light? No, no. It's Perfect, so. Yeah. Brenda, why don't you? I'm gonna wipe off this before I can everywhere. Oh my gosh! Okay, you know what? I'll use this for contouring then. This is not a new beauty blender. It looks very new because I've never used it before, but it's not new. I've, I've had it for like a year, I wanna say. I don't know, I just never like think to pick it up because my brushes are always just kinda there. This will be my first time using it, which is quite embarrassing. Like the the whole Instagram trend is like they paint it on, right? So I'm gonna try painting my stuff on. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques Essential Foundation Brush. I'm gonna go in with my Coastal Scents Camouflage Palette. I'm gonna go for like this shade here. Is this too light? Do you feel like I'm being too too nice? I'm really worried that I'll like this look because I actually do like the whole like chiseled look. I like bone structure, man. I like bone structure. Oh no, my hair. Baby hair. Let me know if y'all want like to see other videos. I could try out like a bunch more because everyone does their makeup differently and because it's just like, you know, it just washes off. I guess I could be anyone I want to be. I don't know if I want to go into this territory. I'm, I'm just here, right? I don't know if I want to... You know what? Let's do it. Gosh, people that actually do the whole Instagram makeup for reals. I was gonna say for a living, but for reals. You guys are gonna like... Hate me. But I don't do this to mock you guys. I'm actually trying to see if like a normal person can achieve this look. Maybe I should have used a smaller brush for this. You know what? I can I can blend it out, it's fine. Now let's highlight. I'm gonna be using a Bobbi Brown also a foundation brush, I think. I'm going to be using I think this one. This one looks pretty de the oh, either this one or this one. I don't know, probably both. I think I'm being like way too cautious with this. But then again, it's because I really don't wanna screw up I'm trying to roll a mug at work. How's that? Yes. Okay. Is this how it's supposed to be? Should I just blend? Oh, it smells really nice. The beauty blender. Ooh, 
Ooh, should I be blending in my contour first? Let's let's just roll it. Beat that face, beat, 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 beat. Nothing is happening. Oh. Oh, was I supposed to hold it like this? This works better. Ooh, it's quite nice actually. Don't mind it. Then again, I've only blended out the contours, so hold your horses, Brenda. Might not look good after all. Gonna blend out the highlight now. Uh. Doing the cream contour after was maybe not a good idea. But you know what? Actually, it, it does look pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It's just, it looks like I've contoured. You're not fooling nobody with this. Man, I kinda like this. It makes my skin look almost like plastic, like it's not real. Okay, <laughs> done. How does that look? It doesn't look bad. Oh, it does look like I am a cake face though. Okay, wait, let me... I love how I never actually zoom the camera lens in. I just lean in and go, how, did, how does that look? <laughs> well, it's a little muddy here. You know what? We can fix that with baking, so... It's cool. Oh my gosh, phone's ringing. I'm not gonna pick it up. Next up, I am going to be concealing any of my leftover pimples, but honestly, I don't actually know if I need concealing. Look, I think I'm alright, but I was, I was so, you know what, I'm just, I'm still gonna go ahead with concealer, why not? This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC25. I have learned how to squeeze just a tiny little bit because, you know, like everyone complains about this and how it like squeezes out a lot, right? So, you just do it really slowly. That's the trick. Yeah, okay, I got some. Ha! Silly me for thinking that I had nothing to cover. <laughs> oh no! This has become too light because of the contour shape. Damn! Right, okay, wait. Should I blend it away? I look like I have a ring of light around my, <laughs> around my mouth now. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> big, 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 big. We've bowed out. Okay, got this. Yeah, here it is. Gosh, I've been looking for it everywhere. I am going to be using the HD powder by e.l.f. I'm gonna just set it underneath, I think. Let's try. I'm going to attempt to use this to set my under eyes. Ah! It's pretty good. <laughs> Shit. Can I bake with this? You know what? Let's let's not, just in case I'm wrong, okay? I, I know that you can bake with translucent powder, so let's do that. Well, I have to use my uh, trusted loose powder again that you guys have seen a lot and are probably sick of. My 3W Clinic powder. I really love it lah, okay? Why would I not love it? It's cheap, it's good. Got my powder here. Let's do this. This, this looks pretty. Am I too conservative with the powder? Oh yes, that's, that's what I see on Instagram. I will salute anyone that does this on a daily basis, I can't. In the meantime, why not let's do some brows? Actually, it's not going so bad, but then again, it's just the base, so I'm almost kind of scared, like, what if it, it goes downhill from here? Like, what if this is the peak? I'm just gonna go in with the eyebrow, since I'm waiting for my, for my thing to bake. I don't even know when I sweep, you know what, I'm just gonna wait until everything is over, then I'll sweep it off. But I'm using the Dead Brow Palmate by Anastasia Beverly Hills. As everybody knows, this is favorite product for, like, fleeky brows. This is decent enough, this is actually a paintbrush but it's really stiff, that's why I like it. Look at how little I've used. Like, I, I barely touched it, I don't know why. I wanted it so bad because like, you can't buy it in Singapore, right? So my friend got it from me from the States, I was like, oh, thank you! And then I barely used it, so. <laughs> how am I doing, how am I doing? This is nerve-wracking because I know any stroke that I get out of line means that I will be dead. I think like for some reason they go really dark, so I'm gonna go really dark too. I mean, as if this is not dark enough. Okay, 
other bra now. Gosh. I think the brows are like too dark. Yeah, but then again, I do have black hair. I mean, it's kind of brownish here, but my roots are black, so it might work. I don't know. Wait, let me get a spoolie and thin it out first. I really do feel like this is kind of like the fleeky shape though. I'm gonna go in with this or this. Cleaning up the bottom bra. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, it does really kind of clean up the selection if you will. Ooh, I see the baking happening. What? I see- do you see this? Can you see it? My eyebrows are really intense, but I think it might be because my hair is back. Okay, just hold on. Let's- let's- let's try going through everything now. So let's just go into eyes. I'm going to take my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. I'm going to use Heaven. Heaven is kind of like a highlighter kind of color. Mm. I'll use this to set the highlight on the brow. Okay, with the e.l.f. contour brush, I'm gonna go in with Nudie, which is right here. Just deepen the crease a bit. Not much work needs to be done here. I'm gonna just lighten it again, going back with Heaven. I'm going to be using Max Fascinating Eye Core and going to line my waterline. Eyeliner next, I'm using Steeler's Eyeliner Duh, Airbrush favorite. Oh. What is that? Look at that. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has this problem similar to mine, but basically it's really difficult for me to do like eyeliner and false lashes because my row of eyelashes don't grow like in one line. I have like one and a half rows of eyelashes. So basically I have a second row, but it's really sparse. And the thing is like it keeps knocking my eyeliner. So it's really difficult to get like a good, you know, you know. Sometimes I get really nervous about using a stealer eyeliner because it's so wet. <laughs> like I feel like if it was just a little bit drier, I could. But then again, it's a happy problem to have when your eyeliner is too black and too wet. So I'm just doing this and talking to you guys. So I'm waiting for the eyeliner to kind of set and dry. In the meantime, I realized I forgot one very special part of Instagram makeup, which is taking this light as color. Or maybe I should go with Silk Teddy, you know what? Maybe I should go with Silk Teddy. And dab it in the inner corners of my eyes. I think I'm gonna sweep off the baking powder. Ready? Damn, my skin looks good! Should I wipe this off too? Oh, wow. Okay, okay, I, I get what everyone's talking about. If you kind of stood a little bit further and you look at my skin, you're like, wow. I'm also going to highlight my brow bone because that's how they roll. Yeah, this is pretty neat. You know what? Actually, I can remove this now. Uh, next step, next step. Okay, let's contour my nose. Why don't we? I know a lot of like uh, gurus, they just kind of do this. They do like one line down. But in theatre, we learned to do this too. To make the nose bridge in itself look longer. It doesn't make sense if like this is really flat and then this is suddenly really high, right? So, I was taught to do this, so I do this, okay? Okay, yeah, this looks better. And let me put a little highlight, classic, in the Too Faced palette. The, the highlighting one that I used. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, lashes, lashes. I totally forgot about the lashes, okay. I am a hot mess today, guys. But I'm gonna be using the Ardell Wispies in 117. Maybelline The Falsies, one of my favorites. Okay, I just put like one coat just so it stiffens up and it becomes a good base for my eyelashes. Going to go in with the Duo Adhesive. This is a lash glue that dries dark, which is what I prefer because my eyeliner is really dark already. So, this is me and one eyelash. Oh, did I just... I like shook it too hard and it splattered onto my leg. <laughs> oh, it's 
scary. Okay, can I do this? Can I do this? Which which side am I? This side. Okay. Okay, I've got one eyelash on, and I'm just very quickly gonna stick the other. I'm not gonna bore you guys. Bam! There you go. Maybe I shouldn't have been so confident. Oh crap. Done with the lashes. How how does style feel? <laughs> I, I can't decide if this is a good look for me. At the same time, I feel like I've got a lot of makeup on and you know that, but there are not a lot of colours so I feel like it's like a natural heavy makeup. I don't know. As of right now, I am going to go in with a little bit more contouring, why not? <laughs> with the Bombs Bahama Mama. I'm doing it really, really light. My face feels really set with powder. Like, really, really. Okay. Not not really feeling the forehead contouring. Because my forehead's already kind of small. Now I'm gonna go in with blush. This is Max Poised. Like a pretty neutral colour, so... Gonna get my Real Techniques blush brush. Just gonna tap a bit. I feel like this colour is very... Instaglammy. Because the lips always match the cheeks. It's this like neutral mauve. It's mauve. It's supposed to be mauve, but everyone says mauve. So does that make it? I don't know. Oh, highlight, highlight, highlight. Okay, I'm gonna do two highlights just because sometimes it's excessive. So, just going to use Benefit's High Beam. Looks like this. If anyone is curious, just going to. Because now I feel like my face is like really, really matte, so I need to like up my game a little, you know. After that very subtle glow, I feel like it brought like a little bit of life back into my face because just now I was really matte. I'm going to go in with the Balm's Mary Luminizer. Gonna just go in. Uh, this is the contour brush by Real Techniques, by the way. Okay, how do, how do you feel about the highlight? Is it highlighty enough? Should I be going for more? I'm going to overline my lips and then go in with Max Wall. Yeah, I don't know. I got this the other day because I thought it looks really like the Kylie Jenner lip. This is what inspired the whole thing, so I'll try it later. Now I'm gonna go in with Colourpop's Brink. Yeah, Brink. Oh, I'm so nervous. I've never overdrawn my lips before. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, okay. Oh crap. I went a little slap happy with it towards the end. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm done. I'm going to put well on now. Oh, this is such a nice color. Okay, so this is the end of my look. I think I'm done. Yeah! I don't know how I feel about this. This kind of just looks like I put in extra effort with my makeup today. I'm really liking the lip colour actually. Maybe that's why everybody loves it. Yeah, eyebrows, eyebrows are a little intense. Maybe on camera it looks fine because this is meant for like high definition anyway, but it's, it's a really pretty look. I just don't think I can do it every day. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's possible. Is this fun to watch? I don't know. I just thought it'd be interesting to, for me to like just try it out. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Feel free to check out my other videos if you like. There should be an I button somewhere here or here. Maybe I should memorize where. Feel free to subscribe to my channel down below and click like if you liked it. I will be back with another video really soon. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! So why is my window not completely closed? Hold on, hold on. Uh, it's okay la. I mean... I won't say it's fabulous, but I won't say it's horrible. I remember like when I first tried it, it was, it was pretty great. Right? <laughs> Why am I lisping? <laughs> maybe I should start blending. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, wait. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Should I, should I get the highlight? Okay, you know what? I, I actually don't mind talking to myself. It's not, it's not that sad. I'm going to use, uh, what I use for my crease just now where is it i sit down and i turn and i realize that he's chatting up the girl that is next to him like i'm here he's here then that girl's there she looks at me once i plop down my seat 
And then after that, she almost does like a who are you kind of like face. And then I was like, I'm his date, motherfucker. Like, what? 